Hey guys, it's your boy Black Brew back with another video. I'm gonna start a new series here called Play to Earn, uh, where we do nothing but play play to earn games. And for the first game we're gonna play is Staten Arena. All right. So here's Staten Arena, right? So first thing to know about Staten Arena is that basically you can go with free characters or um, you can go with the paid characters. If we go look on here, you can see the paid characters at daytenarena.com. Now you have two choices when you want paid characters. You can either buy them or you can buy a box. And the box gives you a certain percentage chance of getting a certain character. So um, let's wait for that to load. While we're waiting for that to load, we'll go over here to PooCoin. And I want to show you the coin that you'll actually win. Okay, so while that's loading, let's go over here and see if this is loaded. Okay, it's loaded. So, all right, so the cheapest characters tend to be the common characters. Um, so this guy's like $75, um, ranging on up. So he's the cheapest guy. Um, so so if you guys want me to do more, com uh, more content on this too, I can list my favorite characters, I can list what characters I like the most, what characters are best for what type of game. But here we have um, epic characters. The cheapest one is here, and that one's $200. Actually, these must be out of order because there's a cheaper one over there. So cheapest item. Okay, cheapest item is $88 with this guy. There's a Lucy Muffy here at $133. Let's see if we can get a mythical cheap. It's okay. So there's a Lucy Muffy here sitting at like two hundred dollars. Okay, and then the best characters they say in the game are the legendary ones. And the cheapest one right here is a Phoenix. She's a thousand dollars. Oh well, eleven hundred dollars. Or you can play with the free characters. Which free characters they give you? This guy, this guy, this guy, and I bought this guy. But he, he tends to be a really good character, so I'm going to pick him. So we're going to pick a solo battle. There's a couple different battle modes you can choose from. But if you don't have a team to play with, I would suggest picking the solo battle. But before we go into solo battle and actually do a battle, I want to show you the coin that you could possibly win here playing, playing this game. Okay, it's not this coin. We're going to go over to day 10. So they didn't arena coin. Right now it's sitting at about eight cents. It's really taking a huge beating. So you'll see that as soon as it comes up. It's taking a huge, huge, huge beating uh, along with the rest of crypto right now. So if we go out to like 12 hours, you can see start all the way up here to $2 only to just die here at eight cents. What that means though is you got all these characters where you can get in for cheap, way cheaper than normal. Oh, and here's the other way to get in. You can buy a box. So if you buy a common box, you'll get like a common character. It's around $89. Now if you buy an epic box, you have a chance to get a epic character. And then if you buy a legendary box, this is actually a really good price. If you buy a legendary box, you can get a legendary character. So let's try a solo battle. I'm going to pick Meteor Slam. That tends to be a really good skill. And for this guy, are we going to do invisible or shield? I'm going to say invisible for right now. Okay, so find match. You can have a little mini game you can play until a match is found. Wow, they really found a match really quickly. So it's important to make sure your keys are really good. I use a mouse and then I use the keypad. A W S D is how I got it. Left, right, up, down. So weapons, you can charge them for certain characters. This is one character that you can charge up weapons with. Okay, and if you go into bushes, you can hide. So with this mode, I kind of just like to camp out. First 
have a really good chance of killing this dude. Okay. So my since my guy's a marksman, he has a really long range on his moves. And a lot of people just like to camp out because if you can get in like fifth place, you can really get a high amount of money or are you actually getting a green of money? Um, the only downside about the free characters is you don't have as much of a chance to get money um, as an actual real character. And I'll show you that once we finish with this battle here, how that's going to work out. So I'm just kind of camping here which is something you kind of just have to do sometimes. Um, and to kind of make this sure the game goes faster, they have this little like red like boundary that gets um, closes in tighter and tighter and tighter until it closes into a really, really small circle. Um, and that way to kind of force the action on you in case you're camping. So I'm at seven right now. I'm just going to wait for the red circle to kind of come to me. So I can continue my camp, kind of wait. Okay, six. Let me camp right. Oh yeah, this guy is good as dead. Uh oh, I should have killed him. Okay, so I got fourth. I really should have killed that guy. I could have just kept going a little bit and got way better. Okay, I guess I got fifth. I got that guy. Okay, so I'm down to recruit zero. You don't really get any pennies or any coins. Oops, any coins when you do that that mode. Hopefully, it lets me cancel here. Okay, so in the free mode, you have the ability to get these coins right here and they just you know they'll add up but eventually right now they're not going to add up to much like if we did the additions on this i don't know how much this would be like eight cents and you got 40. i don't know i don't know how much it would be um probably like i don't know i really don't know I, do the addition for yourself on that one so you only had a chance to get these for um for the free characters if i actually had a paid character they get like a daily thc battles um the, the lower ranked your character is the, the lower amount of battles they get like if we come back over here and look at the characters again i think it'll tell you okay so this guy is let's look at the common characters so his daily battles he gets eight and the max you can get in solo if you win is about 12 cents, I think, or 12 coins. So 12 coins times four, mm -hmm. saying that you won all of them. I'm sorry, 12 coins times eight if you won all of them is 16, so 96. 96 times four is almost $4. So $4 with his daily battle, saying that you won all of them. If you won zero, of course, zero. If you won one, um, you know. You won one. Um, so that's only if you get first. If you get like anywhere like between, I think if you get third, you get 10. If you get fourth, you get like nine. And if you get fifth, you get like 0.2 coin. So that's something to keep in mind. If you're epic, you get, if you're epic normal, you get 10 daily battles. I think if you're epic mythical, you get more battles. Let me see. Epic myth. Cool. Okay, Epic Mythical only gets, okay, so Epic, I guess, only gets 10 battles a day. If you're Legendary, you get 12 battles a day. Wow, so it seems like the best kind of price out there is the Epic to me. Um, yeah, that seems like the best buy. But yeah, guys, this is Play to Earn. This is Play to Earn Thing Arena. Let me know if you want to see more videos on this and I'll push them out for you guys. And what I'll do is I guess I'll do like videos with like playing on here on Benzinga 
and I'll do like some videos on my channel about, okay, I think this is the best character and this is the type of strategy I use with this character. So just let me know in the comments if this is something you want to see. Thanks so much, guys. Have a good one. Peace. What?